Uh, Sayori. Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Uh, I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Suki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. Ha! Burn! She just stands in the corner like the Blair Witch. It's... No, she goes stares... She should be at the chalkboard writing, I won't be a sucky character over and over again. Like, at attention. I, I don't think I'll ever get over how much you hate this character so much. She sucks, man! All she is is a bitch! Like, some people like that! And that's fine on them, but I don't. There's only room for one bitch in any relationship, and it's fucking me. So that's this. So this is my story. Oh, this is you. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, this is my story as vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing with me. <laughs> nah. It's not like you can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. That's true, I just tried to get out. That's only because okay. it would let me see Ori come in. <laughs> well, I guess that just means Ori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Yeah, you could say that. Sorry is really cool. She is really cool. She might be an airhead. Sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I will. Cause I don't I haven't got any choices to like say anything to Monica. Yeah. Is she like an unlockable character you get with later? Sure. Oh. I, I don't remember, but. Damn it! That would explain why she's not in the fucking pool section. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll just give it to Ori then. Yeah. And then yeah. I'll get with. Well, if we ever do it in another Let's Play, then we do with Monica. Everything yeah. works out. Okay. I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. Well, yeah. She, he did say she's kind of airheaded, so she probably would fall down a lot. That'd be really bad. No, she floats to the sky. She, floats. she gets to, she gets stuck to the ceiling because she's airheaded. Oh, I get it. <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, you can count good. on me to be a dumb motherfucker. Oh. Uh, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Aww, oh, he likes her. It's a sailor nod. Uh, I bet getting with Monica is like a true ending kind of thing, because he already likes her a lot. Yeah. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Oh, that's total proof. That is... Uh, oh, she's totally unlockable. Mm -hmm. It's teasing us with her as an option. Yeah. Oh, man. You cracked the code. I did. I'm so proud of you. Thanks! Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was not that bad. Except for, you know. But other than that, it was really good. It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. David, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Really? With everyone? I think not. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. I think to myself. I should have said that with a difference in pack, that's fine. That's fine. I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. And nod to myself with a newfound determination. I don't know if that's accurate, because, like, with Siori, like, she really liked all the dark shit, and her poems are, like, not dark at all. Mm. Um, I didn't really try any of the other ones, so I yeah. can't really say for them. Yeah. But... So, at least for Siori, that is not true. Yeah. Unless it's true now and the game is telling me that. But I don't know if that's the case, because I feel like that's a switch. Like, that's such a weird 180 turn. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Dated! Ready to walk home? 
Sure, let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. The laser beam tears through a wall. <laughs> Opening into the classroom next door. She's just to doing, the bullying If club. she's gonna beam at anyone, she should beam at Natsuki. Oh no, Natsuki has just exploded! It got all over her manga she collection! Her what a so bugger! You hate her so much. I'm not that telling her so to like. Funny. I'm just. Alright, I'm just, I'm just adding on to your joke. Like, oh, sure, you, you yeah. just wanted to wish the death of a character, meanwhile, I'm just putting holes through walls. So, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I'm just into saying. The bullying club. Um, I really wish it. <laughs> David should join the bullying club. <laughs> the bully it's so gets... funny. I'm making David out to be such an asshole with David as a character, and like Hand Camp is such a sweet guy. Mm -hmm. I thought I should have made him like a really, like sh I should have given him the most shithead name I could get on. Chad. <laughs> no, I was gonna go with um, Dio. Dio. Oh my God, He's damn fucking... it! You fucking. <laughs> he already is a meme. It would have been perfect. What? Oh, you got that JoJo game! Yeah, nice. only in Japanese, because I wasn't getting uh, Yeah, it's only in Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, or at least this version. Ugh. Oh, uh, that's your line, it, by the way. It was, damn it. Uh, it truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I oh, really... you know what else would have been a good shithead name? Mm -hmm. Uh, who's the dude that Gats is always fighting? That dude that raped his girlfriend? I've never seen Berserk! Okay. Okay, but that dude, that dude's a real shit, and I should have named him that. Sure. The rapist. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Fucking. Just drop a rapist in with these uh, underage girls. Everything will work out great. Oh, no, I don't think you understand. They're all over. <laughs> oh, yeah, all over to you. Including the 14 year old looking one. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We're all 25 and still in high school. Exactly. <laughs> we gotta help at like six. Uh, welcome to hell. Yeah, anyway. I can't say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. About what happened earlier. What, the fight or the blazer? Eh? Yes. What do you mean? The fight. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I call bullshit. Natsuki is a fucking shit stirrer. There is no way that is the first time. I promise they're both wonderful people. Aw, uh, I have to believe that. You don't you don't hate them, do you? Ooh! Can you Ooh. really say that you do that, Faith? Ooh. No, I don't hate them. Mm -hmm. I'd probably just be like, I would instantly be like, aw, oh, sorry. You're so nice. You're so pretty. Did I tell you that? And just try like to bring up the conversation. Mm -hmm. I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I didn't see why they they'd make good friends with you. Yeah, Story's a good person. Yeah. You. You know, David. It's nice that I get to spend the time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. I think everyone really likes you too. Yeah, a little too much. That's. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Today is a beautiful day. <laughs> it's, it's, sorry. Oh no, today's a magical day. I was referencing a uh, fucking Neil Green. Uh, <laughs> it's a magical day. That's what it was. A sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. What situation? What do you mean? That you're surrounded by beautiful people. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to oh, stop? Okay. That? I don't like that. That's kind. Of, <laughs> that, uh, that could have a, like a malicious context to it. Yeah, that's a motive right there. That's the motive. That's the motive. And we hate it. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Your future is Sayori, bro. If I can, if I have any say in the matter, it's Sayori. Uh -huh. It should have been Monica, but you know, she's unlockable. Which you should have told me about beforehand. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Ugh, it's whatever. I'll just do a second playthrough, it's fine. Yeah. Or are you gonna do that on your own, or? No, we can probably do it. Okay. Because yeah. it's probably like a true ending, because the way like he already likes her. Yeah. yeah. I say that to myself more than. Wait, I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to say Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. 
man, that sounds really mean. Okay. Sorry. Let's do this. Oh yeah, it's poem time. Poem time. Ooh. Defeat for scars. Well, defeat worked with Sayori last time. It did? Yeah. I didn't even remember. And embrace. I don't know what that word is. Entropy. Which... It means like how like shit falls apart. Oh. Actually, you know what? Since that's a fancy word, that's probably a Yuri word. Yeah. So, bed? Yes! Yeah. Just because she sleeps. God, I'm good. I never broken last time. That worked for her. Yeah. I am so good at this. Ooh, frightening? Damn it. Uh, hurt. Yeah. Uh, pain. Yes! Anxiety. I never. Ooh, suicide. No, no suicide. Well, like, I know anxiety works for her, but, like, a suicide joke is really fucked up. So I she probably would love it. Try it. Oh, oh damn. damn, that was Yuri. That's my bad. Mm, I gotta be careful, because I don't want to get fucking Yuri. I mean, she's nice, but like, no. Fear? Yes. Death. Yes! <laughs> oh, I guessed on that one. Damn. Uh, let's see. You um, killed me. Good! Alright, Despise the Essence, I think, will be one of hers. Uh, probably... You think? Damn. Shit! God damn it! I don't want her! I mean, to be fair, you keep going with like the really depressing one, so maybe try Sunny? Uh, oh, okay. So it did switch! Well, wait, it didn't switch because the other stuff worked for yeah. her too. Poof is definitely not sneaky. Oh, that is. I can't even say that word, so it's definitely not. Vivacious. Very... Nope. Cute? No, cute's probably. Cute. No, Natsuki doesn't. Wait, does Natsuki? No, Natsuki. no, wait, Natsuki just. She likes cute things, but she doesn't like being called cute. Yeah. See? It Damn. worked. Oh. Uh. Uh. This is hard. Breathe? Breathe? You think? Maybe. Fudge! Yeah. Fucker! Damn it! I mean, you've gotten mostly. <sighs> okay, okay. Sari has a ribbon. Oh, Jesus, I'm, I'm fucking up so hard. I am fucking up so hard. Happiness. I was gonna go friends. You think happiness? Oh, thank the lord. Thank the lord. This feels like Russian in the lab. Okay, depression was the last time. Was that, did that, who jumped at that? Um, don't remember, but I feel like grief. Did you think grief is sorry? Maybe. I did agree for depression, but it's so close. I don't want to like accidentally give Yuri one more and I'm like stuck with Yuri. I don't want to fuck up like that. Can you save? I haven't saved once. No, you haven't. Ah, uh, you can't save. Shit. Oh no. Wait, go over. Save. Okay, oh. you can. Oh, there's an auto save. That's good. Just gonna return. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, this feels like cheating, but I also don't care. No, nah, it's fine. Um, okay, so we're. Eternity! Eternity is probably here, right? Yeah. Depression or grief? I, I remember getting depression last time, I just can't remember who jumped. I wanna say it was Sayori. You know what? Try depression. Yes! Alright. Oh my god! Underrated! That was jewelry last night too, wasn't it? I think so, maybe. Yes! Oh, oh no. What? <laughs> Never mind. It's not important. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, universe, Valentine, Rose, Destiny, Vessel, Vibrant, Doki Doki, Doki Doki, Doki Doki, Doki. Shame. Shame. Yes! Sadness? Sadness? Yes! Oh god, thank the lord. Oh, probably disaster. Mm. You know, what about oh, maybe smile then? Yeah, smile. Yes! Oh my god, we're so good at this! Oh, what a gamer moment. Good thing you yes. have your gamer gloves to fucking. Shut up. 
another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. That was way harder than last time, wasn't it? A little. Huh. I guess you weren't really thinking about it last time. That's though. true. I was like just picking the most fucked up ones I could. Yeah. The only reason I got more nervous, Yuri was jumping more in the beginning, and I was like, oh fuck, I don't want to mess up, because I don't want to give a shit, I don't want to get story. Ugh. gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, David. Yo, Sari. Looks like you're in a good mood today. What is she not in a good mood? <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. Pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. Because she likes me. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. That is not true. That with was your very hard. Smooth pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lacking critical thinking. Speaking of which, what brains? I'm kind of hungry. Okay. Ooh. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Yes. No. No thanks. David, you fucking wrong. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, say, Rory? Oh, oh, I get it now. Yeah. Eh, why uh, that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ha <laughs> ha. ain't got money, she broke. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. That's not what he said. Sure. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. Just buy her a snack. Don't be like that. That's not fair. How did you even know? Because he knows you. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. That's... That's, 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 yeah, that's, that's a good point. So you're either not hungry and you wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so I would lend you some. Would you not lend her money? But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. <laughs> and so that only leaves the one option. Aww, give up. Don't make me feel guilty! Yeah, don't make her feel guilty, David. I'm trying yeah, how to do you right. Feel? Like, don't fuck this up for me. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. That's not how guilt works! <laughs> That's not how guilt works! Sometimes you feel guilty over nothing! Jesus Sometimes you feel guilty over shit you had no control in! That's not how feeling guilty works! Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Ah ha ha ha! suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. So wait, does that mean she's like turning towards us with just the book in her face? <laughs> no, she's wearing the book like a mask. Uh, she cut out the eye. It's like holes in the eyes. Like, ah! I am the book. <laughs> I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Okay, that makes sense. Yuri, tell David to let me borrow some money. What? Why not just ask Yuri to borrow money? She'll probably give you some. She does not look like she stands up for herself that much. No. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Yuri. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. Retribution? Jesus! I just... I didn't mean that. You totally meant that. I got two swords in my book. Uh oh. Ha ha ha. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. Man, even when she got, like, kind of insulted, she's just taking the high road. See, Yuri's so fucking cool. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and I have to accept the, the revolution. revolution. <laughs> I almost read that correctly, and was like, no, that's wrong, but I'm like, oh wait, no, it's right. Yeah. Retribution. Bad. Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yeah, <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. 
After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Ooh, but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me a little more credit than that, Sayori. I'm just totally right. Yeah. I mean, if she had asked to come like to, to be like a friend move, mm. like he probably would have come. Yeah, maybe. Of course, I'm just saying free food is always good. RKO out of nowhere, someone. What? <laughs> someone. Someone? <laughs> someone smacks Yuri. <laughs> that wasn't. That was not even. Wanna try again? <laughs> Uh, out of nowhere, something <laughs> smacks Yuri. Or, damn it! I keep saying Yuri. Nice. <laughs> Fucking ugh. Third time's the charm. Let's go. <laughs> what was that sentence? Third time's the charm. Let's go. I did a little Mario. I don't know why. That my people. I know. Anyway, out of nowhere, something smacks Yuri in the face and tumbles onto the desk. How much do you want to bet Natsuki for something at her? How much do you want to bet? Oh. Ah! Yeah, it's probably not safe. Yeah! Ow! What was it? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! restitution. <laughs> yes. God damn it, Sayori! Retribution. Actually, that one almost hurt. I did. I'm fucking near it. She, she's not I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ha ha ha. Suki, why are you like this? I defended you. That's so nice of you. That's not what I was going with. Yeah. I'm so happy. I mean, to be fair, if someone gave me a fucking pokey, I'd like, hell yeah. Not if it was thrown at you. If it hit you in the face and made that sound, I would not be in it. I'd be like, what the fuck? Just I... give it to me. Nah, I have friends like that. Ugh. Not Sari, me. Sari hugs the cookie. Yeah, it's because if I did it, I'd fucking whip it like a baseball. Oh. Or a frisbee, I guess, since it's a cookie. Yeah, it's a cookie. You throw it like a frisbee. You throw it like a discus at like 90 miles. If it away. hit your face, then put your phone over break. Yeah, probably. Also, you can't have cookies without milk, so. Sure. She gave her a garbage snack. Way to go, Natsuki. What? You can have a cookie without milk. I've, I've never had a cookie without milk. Oh, well, you're basic. Uh, Jeez, just eat it. You can't <laughs> That's have a, phrase a I don't cookie want to without milk. What are you supposed to dump the cookie in? Water? Nothing, you just eat the cookie. No, you gotta dump the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori <laughs> <laughs> rapidly tears the wrapper and takes a giant bite. Oh boy. Sayori <laughs> suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. It was poison. Damn it. I bit my, my tongue. tongue. <laughs> They're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers. Well, wait a minute. If you're offering a cookie, you should let her choose which one. What if it had nuts in it and she had a peanut allergy and she died? You just committed manslaughter and you suck. You're really just... I'm pointing out a fact you're while just... also bitching about her. Bringing out excuses. I'll die on this hill, man. I don't care. Good, I'll bury you in it. But, but you... yours is chocolate. Oh, see? Yeah. Just got like a Why do you thing. think I gave you that one? Oh! She gave her the garbage cookie on purpose. Maybe it was only two cookies. You ever fucking think about that? Maybe she just should have gotten two chocolate ones then. What if that was the odd? Uh, like, there was only one option. Then let her pick. Or just be like, I like this one. You would like that? Would you like this one? I'm just saying. She could have offered, or could have been like, this is the one I picked. You can have this one if you want, instead of just throwing it at her. Sure. Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me, because I'm the best girl. <laughs> so, oh, that's you. Siri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Ah, uh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Mm. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Yes! Oh. Get what you want! Get what you want! You deserve it! Hey! 
Did you seriously just do that? Yes, she did, because she's great. Whoa! <laughs> Never make that s <laughs> Never make that sound. That's Ever. what the sound is now! I do know. Do you want me to do that? Read it? Yeah. Oh my god! You can just do like a small little chuckle. That's really all it is. I love how I started faking it, and then I actually started <laughs> laughing like the sound. Yeah. Oh. Mouthful, stay where you trot away to safety. Damn, girl, you did it. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Says the chick. Says the chick that literally started a fight over nothing the other day. And then called out someone stuffing their bra. Jesus. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica is in the club room. Oh shit, where's Monica? She is the club room. <laughs> uh, I am where's everywhere. Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just has something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. I mean, that's probably why she's fucking unlockable. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. It's Monica! Yeah. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. Nice. Great. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Shush. I was, Sayori was, and Yuri was. Now, Suki was herself, so you can understand. Mm. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all? You're so strong, but <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing now. <laughs> I just read it and then it was registered in my brain. It's just. Sayori really just speaks the thoughts that come out. Yeah. I love that. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. I had nothing to do with it. Ah, uh, never mind that. Well, what held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. Sorry to hear that. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. She fell asleep. Yeah. Ah, that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. You would think that, but I have slept through many bells. You must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Oh, cool! She plays piano? Yeah. Nice. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at all, though. as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. I think I just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. She wants you, dude! <laughs> Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd, I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, David. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I ain't mean any fresh or anything like that. Well, she probably started learning to like impress him. Maybe. Uh huh. Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. In fact, I started just a few days ago. And I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. Ah, uh, same old, same old. That's it. Who's a bitch? Yuri was cute as always, and Yuri was treating in the corner. I choose. I chose to left. Wait. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. She's a phantom thief. She stole that cookie like a pro. You'll never see it coming. Exactly! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Because she's mm -hmm. I'm, I told you, right? I'm dying on the sale. <laughs> Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sarah already finished her cookie. It's a cookie? It doesn't take that long to eat. Yeah. Unless it's like one of those like, really big cookies. Which, you need, which means you need a whole ass cup of milk to enjoy it. Really. I can never eat a cookie without milk. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Yuri's back into a book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Oh, she really needs to come out. 
I'm laughing more at his face than the bad joke I made. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's oh, I thought it was just a slightly disappointing joke at like the really easy target. Oh that no, I also no. Made earlier. I, I mean, I was gonna make it. I told you, low hanging fruit. But then I saw your face and I just laughed at your face. You look so disappointed. Yeah, I get that a lot. David, David. Sari suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival's coming up? Yes, I do! Mm. And we're totally gonna make out during it. Me and Monica, we're gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some fans and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with it. Wouldn't it already be in here, though? This is a classroom. Uh, it's a different classroom. I think it's like the art classroom or whatever. I don't know, I feel like every classroom should have that kind of shit. Probably, but you never know. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with David to get supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Ooh, do I get to pick? Aw, oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun, it's boring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay! Ready, David? Yep, let's go. Let's go! You s you upgraded to Aaron Boy. What? You upgraded to Aaron Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Promotion. Yeah. Rank up. Love up. Zary and I exit the classroom. You can't really tell, but we did. We, yeah. Trust me. Believe me. But well, we are in the hallway now. Yeah. I follow behind Zary and. Sorry. Yeah. I follow behind the Zary hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly. Feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Not a great thing to think about a potential love interest. Yeah. I really don't want any of those similarities. Sari finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. I still don't like it. Hey, Sari. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? Yeah, they didn't make a decision yet. They were talking about it, but they didn't make any decision. I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. There's a few ways you could do it. Probably. You probably just have like, you know what they could do? This is what my uh, high school did. They got a local art, uh, author to come to the school and did this whole book thing where you could like, it was kind of like a panel. They could totally do that for a lecture club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do a poetry performance. I guess. As long as it's a good kind that has, like, drinks and food. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, a performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone's gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds... kind of dull. Don't be a dick. It's fine. David, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like, you see the lines of the poem, like, between my feet? The last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. She has this shit memorized. Mm. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? She's one of those old school Greek poets. Oh. Just memorize everything. Oh, there's some people I know that still memorize the entire, like, play of Romeo and Juliet, and I'm just like, fucking how? I don't only know those two characters in the entire play. I know there's others, but I don't know. For right now, when I look in every direction, the once proper's field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that! That did not help! It doesn't help with this fucking format! It's a visual novel! It's supposed to be for your information, or you like it. For your imagination. Ugh. Uh, Sayori. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Jesus, can you say one nice thing to her, David? You are fucking this up for the both of us. I don't like it when you talk in italics. Ugh. <laughs> and? You meanie? I'm working super hard on this, you know? I, I know, I know. But I'm still gonna be a dick. I like how he was. Yeah, but at least I admitted it. Yeah. David would never admit it. 
I just meant that this is a pretty good and ordinary contrast to your cute so. I mean, it was about a flower. That's cute. <laughs> Don't say that. It's embarrassing. I guess that means I'm doing a good job. That's me. Sorry. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. That's you. Oh, I'm so excited. The festival's gonna be so much fun. Siri spins herself around the hallway again. And she hits right into the wall. Out the window. Oh, not out the window. Goodbye. I just went on the wall because she always gets hurt. Hey, David, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The Did they even say the art room, though? They just said classroom. Yeah, maybe they just didn't have it in this classroom. I Why? Ugh. Whatever, man. The, the mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sari like this. Sorry, that's just a lot of work. That's okay. Uh, but in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, emitting radiation and harmful gas, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. Both are accurate. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. See, I told you he was spending less and less time with her. Okay. So knowing adventuring with Sarah brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in there. Yeah, because you're walking around school with a cute girl. Or, you know, your childhood friend. That's also true. Yeah. But also the cute girl thing. Yeah. He's, he likes her. I know it. Because I am him. And I want this to happen. I am him and he is me. Exactly. <laughs> Two of us enter the classroom. Siri heads straight into the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have here. Oh, that's not that word. Let's see what we have in here. That's better. Crayons! Siri pulls out a box full of crayons off the shelf. Crayons are not great for, like, actually making posters. It's not good. It's not, but, like, let them have their fun. They're the best brand, too. No, you should do color pencils. They're, like, the really fancy markers. Those are really good for poster making. Yeah. They're kind of dirty, though. Sari starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted, we still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. I want to guess it. Red. Fine, fine. At least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, uh, I dropped one by accident. <laughs> Swear! Oh, she hit herself. Good. I made the joke earlier, now I feel bad. Yeah. Sari bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. Mood. She, did she hurt herself because she was trying to get the crayon? I don't understand. Well, like, she, like, bent down and picked it up and then she fucking like, oh. hit her head on the way, either on the way down or the way back up. Aw, oh, damn it, Sari. She falls to the floor in the, ca in the canyons. The canyons. <laughs> the crayons spill all over her lap. Ugh. <laughs> you okay? My forehead. That wasn't even me saying that. That's just to you. <laughs> Sari clutches her forehead. She's Sayori. It's just like you, isn't it? That is not what you say at this time, damn it. Hold on, let me see. Since Sari is sitting on the floor, I grab her by her waist and pull her out of the closet. <laughs> Live your truth. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you to read. <laughs> yeah, you have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Ah. Uh, That's a fucking. God damn it. 